I actually have a very first memory of Nolan, but I don't know. I don't know if I should say it because it's kind of scandalous when we were little. <laughs> <laughs> probably we were in Gatlinburg and I was sitting on the couch and Nolan came in <laughs> and he goes hey guys look and then pulled his pants down <laughs> and Carrie just took me and covered my eyes and I, well no first I screamed and then Carrie covered my eyes and then he got in a lot of trouble <laughs> and then he came back like 10 minutes later crying and he was like I'm sorry <laughs> Yeah, that was just, the incident was called the As Great a little Awakening. innocent six-year-old. <laughs> I knew that it was true from the very first time I kissed your lips. Our moms, they grew up in church together and they did, they went to church camp together. I know my mom was in your mom's wedding. Mm -hmm. Nolan's mom actually told me that, uh, my mom and her, they were both pregnant at the same time together. The first day we met is what Carrie told me, it was when we were five days old. Yeah, that's right. It was love at first sight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and that's because my dad was doing all the music business stuff, so we kind of went there. I grew up in Edwardsville, and just growing up, we would go on vacations together. I remember even like my parents picking us up and saying, just surprising us, and being like, hey, we're gonna go meet Ron and Carrie, and we're going to Florida, or whatever. And that was always really fun, too. I would say probably my first memory was either right before Gallenberg or right before the beach when her family came down to stay with us before we all went out. And um, I had like my cape on, like my night sword and stuff, and I was fighting, you know, acting like I was fighting people or whatever, and she wanted, uh, she wanted one too, so I just went and picked one out for her, put a cape on her, so she had a cool cape like me. <laughs> yeah, we both wore the, the cape. Yeah. <laughs> I know every day is a new adventure. You just gotta look back and remember what we're made of. Literally growing up, I did not even look at no one like that at all. I always like was like, oh my gosh, it's Nolan. Like, I don't know, he always seemed like a weird, distant, like friend that I would see occasionally. Like his mom would bring him over and We'd have fun when we were together, but then I didn't think about him later. Oh yeah, like when we so would go down to Florida, actually Claire was my favorite sister at that point because she would actually put on the eye patch and play pirates with me. Claire was a so, tomboy. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, so growing up, you know, when I was really, really young, you know, I didn't really see Emma in that life, but as I kind of got into like that middle school, high school range and stuff, you know, obviously I started talking to girls and dating them or whatever. And I always thought she was absolutely gorgeous, and I always thought, you know, that she would be definitely that one girl, especially in high school, that one girl, you know, that I probably would like go pretty far out of my way to be like, hey, you know, do you want to go like, grab a bite to eat or something? I've always kind of had my eye on her, really. I'll stay by your side, storms are raging, I will hold you close tonight. I actually have looked up online and, uh, filled stuff out to go ahead and attend the fly fishing guide school in Colorado. And I, the first person I was gonna tell was my cousin Jacob. I was gonna drive down and see him and I was gonna make sure he was the first one I told. And uh, you know, kinda as I was packing and getting stuff ready to go down there, I had a little blip pop up on my phone and it was a message from her. She wanted me to give her like ideas for a playlist or something. But I think it was just like her way to slide into the DMs, <laughs> you know? And I literally, you know, and before this I kinda like, Soaring off girls for a little bit, you know, I didn't want to date or anything. I just wanted to just dive in all after this, you know, and um, I looked at my phone. I literally kind of looked at it for a second. I was like, why, literally, why now? Like, why would the, the one girl who was always kind of stirred in the back of my mind pop up on my phone right now? For a few years, there was, we were both in and out of like a relationship. Yeah. And every time we were out, no one would ask me on a date. Mm-hmm, yeah. And then I was always like, Nolan is... 
that boy when I was little. So I never, like, I was always like, oh, I don't want to date right now, or I'm involved with someone, and I yeah. always turn him down. So a few years went by, and then I finally was like, you know what, I'm just focusing on, like, my relationship with the Lord, and I am done dating for a while. And there was something that kept, like, I did not want to date. And there was something in my mind saying, reach out to him or it's going to be too late. So I reached out to him. And I literally was coming in town that day. Yeah. Like, and was... I was like, hey, do you want to get, like, coffee with you and Jake? Like, let's all hang out. I haven't seen you for a while. And he was like, yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, Jake and then, was not coming. Yeah, and then no he goes, Jake oh, <laughs> Jake has to work. And I'm like... Yeah. Yeah. And he like even if got he didn't have to work, date. he was not coming. Back. Yeah. I was like running late and then my aunt saw him pull up in our driveway and she was like she was like, Oh my gosh, Emma, he looks so adorable. Like he is so excited. You should just go make his day. And I was like, Oh, fine, like I guess I'll go on a date with him. I was I don't know why I was so annoyed, but I also still had that feeling like, do it. So Yeah, literally until the end of that day I was still like well, I'm going to Colorado. Yeah, that night, there was no way, like... Yeah, literally, just, it was weird. It was so weird. We sat out by her pool and literally talked. We talked until 1.30 in the morning. And it sounds so fairy tale and stupid, but I knew 100% that I was going to marry that girl, and there's no way I was going out there to that school. Yeah, the next day, I told my dad that I was going to marry him, and my dad was like... What? He was like, slow Blind down, seven. Emma, like... <laughs> And I was like, no, I know it. I was like, it's literally the most obvious thing ever. Like, I absolutely know I'm going to marry him. at first it's just she totally does have a heart completely sold out to the Lord and that's something that I had to have in, in a future wife you know because without that it just it just won't work so um, I'm I just can't wait to just to totally be able to pursue him with her together you know in the same house being together all the time being able to go to the same church the same small groups together that's I'm very excited for that yeah to being together every day and growing together in our faith also and just being one honestly. Um, this apartment is also just super exciting to have together. I'm excited to just, I don't know, have everything together and start our lives together and be the Kingeries. And <laughs> I'm Nolan. And I'm Emma. And, and we're, we're the, the Future, future Kingeries. kingeries.